so Mac UK was founded in 2008 um, by myself um, in collaboration with the local community and its remit is to radically transform mental health services for excluded young people, specifically those in gangs and involved in antisocial behaviour. Um, and it's, it achieves that by making it its mission to take mental health out of clinics and onto the streets, delivering what young people want, where they need it, when they want it. I'm definitely an accidental social entrepreneur. I didn't know what a social entrepreneur was five years ago. Uh, never mind calling myself one or being called one. So um, I started life as a clinical psychologist in a mental health clinic in London and my experience was that some young people came to the clinic but a whole lot didn't and it was the ones that didn't that often needed help the most but they were getting it the least despite the fact that the team was working as hard as it could and it just felt wrong. It felt like I was part of a system that wasn't working. So I set out to find new ways of delivering mental health to that group and I thought that I'd end up volunteering maybe an evening a week at most on top of my day job and before I knew it, I, long story short, I'd stood at a fish and chip shop for six months, I met the young people who I knew were going to help me to set up Mac UK or to set up something and um, they were suddenly wanting to engage every day of the week and I knew that if I didn't do something I was going to have let them down. So I kind of accidentally fell into founding an organisation with them. Um, people say to me, well you must have had a plan. I My plan was to listen to what they wanted and to respond so I didn't actually know what that looked like. Um, and it sort of evolved over the next few years and yeah, we've, I've ended up running an organisation, needing to find the staff to help me do that, I've had to learn about governance, what it means to run a charity, all of those kinds of things. Um, is it something that I would do again if I'd known what lay ahead? Probably not. But actually, I wouldn't change it for the world, and it's a real privilege to be doing what I do. Young people today are growing up in a world that's fast changing. So um, there's less money. Um, we've read a lot recently about funding being taken out of public services. Charities are having to shut down. The environment's changing, um, you know, there's, there's less kind of fossil fuels available, all of those sorts of things. And I think that we're a generation that has a social conscience, really, in response to some of these issues. And we realise that actually um, it's not just about working in a kind of corporate environment, but also thinking about what can we give back. And I think our generation's in a really good place to do that. Um, and perhaps there's also a realisation that it's not one thing or the other, but that you can do both. Um, and a realisation that business can also be a force for good and a force for change. And that's really exciting. For anyone that wants to become a social entrepreneur, I tell them to just go out and do it. Um, you don't need a plan, you don't need to know what you're doing explicitly at the beginning, you just need to absolutely believe in your core that there is something out there that you have a passion and a value um, kind of set to fix. Um, and the rest will follow. <laughs> and that's what I did. I went out and did, and then I learnt, and then I did, and I learnt. And I think sometimes there's a lot of thinking that goes on and not enough action, and I would really encourage people to just get out there and do stuff. Winning Join Our Core was 
honestly one of the best things that's happened to me on my journey and I mean that really genuinely and authentically and the experience of having to pitch pretty much to a dragon's den in six minutes was really nerve-wracking and really really improved my pitching um, and I worked really hard on my presentation and it's something that I still use today.